three ways to charge your e-bike off-grid this summer. Riders, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes, and today we're looking at the three best ways to charge your e-bike off-grid this summer. We have amazing e-bikes, they're pretty expensive, but when we go out of town, it's actually really hard to work out the best way to charge your e-bike. So I've been looking into it, I've been doing it, and these are my three favorite ways. Option one, if you're free camping, then in the area camping, go to the local bar, restaurant, have a beer, have some food, and maybe halfway through your meal, maybe ask the waiter or the owner nicely if you can charge your battery. And if you do it like we do in Spain, have a late lunch around three o'clock, be really nice, you know, maybe offer to pay a, you know, a nice tip or something like that. Leave it charging for the afternoon. After your meal, go back to your van, have a siesta, and by six o'clock you have a full battery. This is by far the cheapest option. And I've done it a few times and it works really well. Just don't be a dick about it. Like, you know, like don't go in holding your battery, walk in there and, you know, unplug stuff. Be respectful for the owners. And you know, most owners, if you're gonna spend a bit of money, buy some food, buy some drinks, then absolutely no problem. And option two is by far the most expensive and best option. We've just got it done from Caravan in K2 and they did an amazing job. And I'm gonna show you riders because I love it. And we're going POV style because I'm super excited. Check out the van, check out Bayer's bikes, all looking great. So first of all, front seat. We have got 200 amp batteries here. They fit in perfectly under the passenger seat, which is awesome. And then we've got a solar panel. Let's go into Betsy Mark II. We go in here. I'm gonna go out through the skylight and just show you. We have a 180 watt solar panel there. And now this is the magic in here. Let's hope GoPro does pick it up. We have a 2000 watt inverter here and a kind of fast charger. So it actually allows the second batteries to charge faster from the alternator. Not 100% sure what it's called, but check this out. Turn this on and off, and we have six power points in the camper van, and they're all live, so it makes it like having 24 power the whole time. It's really off-grid. And if we check this out, in the garage, really well designed, we have a 24 power socket here, and check it out, it is charging right now. You can see the red light on Bayer's Beast. And it's charging completely off grid. We're not getting that much sun at the moment, but we are charging Bayer's bike, and we've got this smart connector. And riders, I will do a full review of the system. We've actually had it now for like, not very long, like a week. So I don't really know how it completely works, but you can see here, we are pulling 10 watts from the solar. It's afternoon, it's about eight o'clock at night. But you see there, it's holding at 12.42. And I was charging the Kinevo and Bear's bike the other day, and we did it no problems. Anyway, that is the most expensive setup, and it's awesome. I will be doing a full review very soon. And back to the main camera, Bay's doing a great job there. And in my opinion, the third option is the easiest, probably the cheapest. Well, you can go to the restaurant, but that will add up over time. This is a 500 watt power bank or power supply, kind of like what you have for your phone, like those little power banks. But this is a really big one. This is 500 watts of lithium power with a 300 watt sine wave inverter. So let me show you how it works. You're going to turn it on at the power button here. You're going to turn on the DC button and the AC button. And we are charging an iPhone wirelessly here. 
We are charging the Kinevo through the 240 power. We're also charging the laptop through the 240 power. We're also charging Bayer's iPhone through a USB cable and a Sony extra battery and a GoPro extra battery. So riders, you would agree that's pretty awesome. Like to get, for me, it's an amazing workstation and I've been really impressed. I've been using it with the Levo SL and the Kinevo SL. And I normally have about 20% left in the battery on the Kinevo or the Levo SLs. And with this, it takes around two to two and a half hours of charging. It's actually really good. One thing I didn't like so much is it takes a long time to charge it on 24 power, about six hours. And in the car, it's actually only five. And if you get the solar power kit, it's like a bundle they put together, very portable. I don't have it, but they're saying it charges in four to five hours. So that's really good and that's really off grid. The 500 watt power pack is gonna set you back around 500 euros. Link will be in the show notes where you can buy these products. They normally have them on Amazon, on deals, on specials. So definitely check that out. And you know, I think this is perfect for someone that has a super light, like a Levo or a Kinevo SL, because they've got a smaller battery. But if you wanna charge something like a 700 or a 630 watt battery, I'd probably be looking at the 1500, which is I think 1400 euros, or the big 2000, which is 2000 euros. And with the 2000 one, I think Rob Wright actually just got one. He told me it's really good. And uh, you're probably gonna get probably three full charges of a Levo out of that. So that's a really good, you're gonna get like three or four days of riding without having to charge that up. So I think it's a really good option for that weekend warrior, someone that's looking to do maybe a week getaway. You know, if you wanna do a bit more than that, then probably the big setup behind us in the camper van is gonna be better, but this will definitely get you out of trouble. So all in all, really impressed with this system, super easy to use. And I reckon if you are a weekend warrior or someone that wants to go away for a week, it's definitely a great option. And a massive shout out to Blue Yeti for sending it out to me. I've really enjoyed it. And riders, if you have any questions about the power pack, about e-bikes, about the Levo, about the commensal, hit me up, love to help. And stay safe out there riders. And I'm gonna see you next week.